Ah, good morning, tankers and gamers. It's a momentary genius here. Uh, doing a little early morning recording here. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee to help get me through this. Ah, good and hot. Almost burned my throat. So, today's video, I'm going to recommend slash soft sell you the T-55A in the Cold War. And the reason for that was the release of the T-55 Enigma, which came out today in the new update, or the new, and new season, actually, it's a season pass tank. That is, we're on October 4th, 2022. Here we are on Thipfall Ridge. Hope I pronounced that right. And the T-55A, <clears throat> by some tankers, is something to either pass over or consider mediocre at best. I can understand that. The T-54, T-55A tank, or A, sorry, not A, tanks in general are very common. The Warsaw Pact tanks and any other allies of the USSR were basically sold these tanks, leased these tanks, or you know, even given these tanks for the sake of allegiance. It was a hooker by crook in some situations. Um, the main reason, and that, well, that's why I'm recommending a premium tank, is because of the premium tank boost. Specifically, the crew XP boost of 10% over the standard, like, 5. Um, that's not the best. A, a good crew training tank, commander tank, training tank, we don't have crews anymore, but we keep the old lingo is more like 20 to 25 percent with this specific type of tank there really isn't one and with this being an era one which for me in my opinion has well it's the first era so it'll be a little easier there's only a few well uh, there's a few more than there was before tanks that do over 60 kilometers per hour and unfortunately they're mostly the British lights and some Americans so that is a risk of dropping into an narrow one match and having four to six light tanks buzzing around the match and just turning it to a ground based aerial dogfight where you are too slow to keep up and it yeah it sucks but that's really the only major problem Although some may say the FP4005's ability to one-shot you is also something to be concerned about. All I have to say is that there's got to be at least a tank that keeps you on your toes and your eyes open. But back to the T-55A. So, with so many just tech tree lines that will be coming out in either the Independent or the Eastern, no, Western Alliance. This is something to consider as a crew trainer. Because, oh, sorry, Greg. It is Eastern. No, oh, early morning brain fog. So having a premium tank that will make you silver, train your crew, while also... Maintaining your skills, although possibly with so many of these, this type of tank coming out, you really will never lose these skills. If you play this type of tank, or else you're playing only sticking to tanks with gun depression of seven degrees or more, I understand that. But this tank will keep you as the player uh, honed in and capable while at the same time keeping you getting the next commander ready for the next tech tree line that'll come it'll probably start off with a t-55 of some sort maybe a t-54 but also we're starting to see t-55s even into era two and like a, and these are still being used in the modern age in some countries although they're these are countries that will probably hopefully avoid coming up against any modern MBT, 
but in the game, it can happen. So, if this, the T55 comes up for sale in a bundle or on a discount, holidays are around the corner, I would just consider for that, rec that reason alone of, one, making silver, two, using it as a commander trainer. Because this isn't a bad thing. Like, keep in mind, look, this was so, uh, what this match was really showed is the turret armor of this thing. The armor of this tank is reliable enough for where you, to know you have it, but inconsistent enough at blocking damage to know you can't be, you can't rush in all the time. You have to think. You will learn that you can't always get it. It surprises you, which is not always a good thing in a tank. So right now, though, I was really shocked to see that. I would, a, I took a shot at the start of the match for 840. Block that. Block that. I, mean, I didn't take it. And now we're up to 1,000 block damage. And my damage is about to skyrocket here because we're, we're at the midpoint of the match. Oh, not the midpoint. The turn of the match. And the gun, the gun handling is accurate enough to where if you wanted to ha do a sniping setup, you can do that. The mobility of the tank means you can do some running and gunning uh, as certain leopards and British lightings have come out. This tank isn't as mobile as it once was. Um, more tanks can kind of, you know, it's harder to circle death certain tanks because they can keep up with you and and outpace and outrun you, sadly. But you can do a run and gun. Accurate, and the penetration and damage is also good. With an alpha of three twenty, that's that's like the baseline now for arrow one if it does around 300 damage that's great penetration 250 on your standard or 240 on your standard sorry that's gonna pen a lot of things at so this is definitely a thing worth considering especially if you're ever going to be doing you know, if you're at some point you're gonna be doing the eastern alliance or independence so this is another it's like certain Shermans, Patton's, Centurions, Leopards. It's a global tank. It will become one of the main tanks of this game. So consider that because you'll have a tank you will always yourself know how to handle when the next tank tech tree line comes out with this in it. That'll just have either upgraded turret armor, improved inch. It'll have a slight variation on the original. And that's it. You'll be able to crew up. Star Wars on Cruise, you might want to, if you hear about what the new tech tree line is, and oh, this, whatever XYZ country, they preferred speed over armor, so they took out the engine from the T-55 and put in a modified version of their own with a thousand horsepower, so it's really fast. Start going with a crew that has, is more focused on speed and running and gunning, so you can do that. That's the advantage of a premium tank. The premium boosts allow you to safely try new things. And 50% silver with every match does help. So, you know, win or lose, you'll still be bringing buckets of silver. So I have been taken out. I was the last one standing with almost 5,000 honest damage, over 1,000 block, 700 assisted so this is a good tank and you should learn to play it because you're going to be playing it a lot in the tech trees that's my pitch With that said keep your tracks on the ground and hope the rng is in your favor hope to see you in the next one goodbye